Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the Hilltop Pillbox here in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. And today I'm actually shooting on my phone, which is not my strong suit. Uh, my camera has been acting up a little bit, so I didn't want to have to reshoot or anything uh, in the middle of the thing. And tomorrow I got to use it to film uh, our football team. Our high school football team is going to the provincial semi-finals. So if they win that, then they get to go on to the provincial final, which is kind of like your state championship in America. So it uh, should be pretty good. They They went to the provincial final three years ago and on the way home uh the engine of my Subaru blew up so that was fun uh <laughs> so I'm hoping I don't have a repeat of that all right so today uh Italy uh Italy 5 and we've got a whole whack of money to spend I didn't um, I think it's 41 31 no 39 yeah 39 to spend I'm saving 8 spending 31 got a bomber 2 mana transport 2 men so that's 18, and that is 13 for 31, saving 8. All right, so we've got some uh, easy combat moves. So this sub's going to come down here. So uh, hell on wheels, buddy. Convoying you for one. So that's going to be an auto convoy. Um, I'm going to put that guy there because... I knew I'd forget him. Now we got some intricate moves going on here. We're going to try to make this as simple as possible. We have a walk-on attack here. Sorry, Kenya. And so we'll be taking that. We got some non-coms happening. Then we have this transport. It's going to grab the man and artillery right there. We're going to go up to 99 and we're going to attack Syria. Get rid of that crazy Frenchman. And of course, we're going to have some help from the plane which will just land back in Iraq, I believe. Um, and these two fighters are going to stay put for now. Really depends on what this fleet tries to do. Uh, Britain made an attempt at taking Iraq last round. Uh, they had uh, one cruiser bombard, an artillery man, and then three or two other men. And uh, I had two defending men, a German tactical and the Italian Macchiato fighter, which uh, was the last... Thing. So, yeah, pretty pretty much right on the odds there, but it, it was a shot that he had to take. So, um, Now, up here, this tactical, one, two, three, he's going to take part in that. He has two spaces left. I'm going to land him one there. We also have one man hopping on a transport. That transport's going to come up here. It's going to pick up a tank. Come here and attack Malta. Okay, but I'm going to bring both tanks because this other transport's going to do the same thing. And of course, their ships are going to come in and we'll have a couple of bombards with them. And we have a couple other attacks here. We have a lone tank. I'm going to go zooming through here. We're going to attack that because if we can kill that, then these guys can head to Moscow on Germany's turn. So we're hoping that helps. But in case I miss and he gets a hit on the first round, I'm going to use the bomber. And I contacted G.I. Joe to say, can I do this? Can I go 98, 99, 100? So that's three, four, five, and then six, he could land back in Ukraine. And G.I. Joe said, absolutely, you can do that. So we're going to bring him in there as well. And then the last attack is going to be the tank from Romania. It's going to go up through eastern Poland, up into Belarus, joined by a man and two artillery. Right? So neither, none of these are fights that I just look at and say, that's, that's all going to work. Um, so these are all going to be interesting. Except for that. That's not very interesting. So let's start with France. So we've got a tactical. He's going to be at three. And then we've got... A man and an artillery at two each. Okay, so thank goodness for the tactical. So we got the one hit and the Frenchman swing and a miss. Les Français, a bonne nuit. Um, now we'll go to Malta. This one kind of worries me for I don't know why, but all right. So we've got a battleship bombard, we've got a cruiser bombard, we've got two tanks. And we've got one man. And I didn't bring any aircraft because he's got an anti-aircraft gun. All right. So here we go. I need two hits. Okay. Hey. Who said the Italian infantry did not a fight? 
All right, so he's got just the one defense. He gets a hit. So, um, well, I am putting four men on this turn. So I think I'll, well, we'll get rid of the British stuff. And the one hit. Yeah, I, I got to take the man. I, ah. but if I have thing there, one. Yeah, because they can't do anything next round. They have to just go do that. So, yeah. All right. Well, I hate doing this, but I got to kill a tank. All right. All right. It's going to make sense. It'll make sense. Uh, all right. This one here is very, very important. So we're going to leave it till the end. Uh, this one here is not as important. So I've got uh, three at two and one at three versus two at two. All right, so I got three at two and one at three. All right. Need two hits. Oh, wow. Oh, the dice are being very nice to me here. All right, so he's got two coming back. Wow. All right, so there we go. Okay, well, let's see if the dice keep being nice. So two at two. One at three. Need one hit. There it is. All right. And he's got a tank. Or a, not a tank, pardon me, an artillery. And no hit back. So we're going to take that. And I didn't put any Italian roundels out there. And I don't have any more. Italy is having a fairly good game here. So I'm just going to put that upside down and that upside down all right so i believe that is all the attacks so i'm going to pause it here and then i'm going to do my non-com moves okay so non-com moves are pretty simple the strap bomber is going to come back there tactical is going to go into iraq this destroyer is going to come over here. I don't think he can reach me with anything, but just in case. Um, this man is going to walk down into Anglo-Egypt, Sudan. These two mechs are going to rail one, two, three into Bessarabia. And then these anti-aircraft guns are going to rail one, two... I don't think he has... Yeah, I guess he can hit me with the British Air Force. So we'll just rail into there and protect that factory. Um, yeah, I think that is it. Oh, uh, right. This is a man. <laughs> I had two men in Tunisia. I split them up there. You saw the one guy go north. That guy's going to come into there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. All right, that is it for Italy. So we'll put our units on. So we're going to put the strategic bomber and two men into Rome or southern Italy and then two men into northern Italy. And then we're going to put this here. I think this is safe from his British Air Force. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he can't go anywhere with that. So we are safe there. So um that is everything now we're just going to change the board here so italy goes up one and france goes down one so we'll just do that here it's the board so italy to 24. well it's a lot harder to do with my phone i respect guys who use their phones for this and italy goes up one two and the Soviet Union goes down two. So Italy goes up two. The Soviets go down two. Soviets are still making bank here, so we gotta, we gotta do something about that. Um, and Italy is able to get rid of the, I guess I can swap this one out here. Italy takes Ethiopia back. That was from Britain. Um, I think that's the only British territory that Oh, and Malta. Malta's worth one as well. So that's what I need to do. I'm going to put that there. Okay, 
see. So Malta and Ethiopia. So that's two down for the Brits and two up for the Italians. And I believe that's everything. So we'll just give you a quick flyby here. We've got one man in Ethiopia, one man in Anglo-Egyptian Sudan, two fighters in Cairo. We have a man artillery in Syria. We have a tactical and a fighter in Iraq. In Season 99, we have a destroyer and a transport. Season 96, we have a battleship cruiser and two transports. Malta, we have one man, one tank. Algeria, we have three men. 95, we have one transport. In Italy, we have a strategic bomber and two infantry and one AA gun. In northern Italy, we have two infantry, one AA gun. In Bessarabia, we have two mechs. In Ukraine, we have a strategic bomber and two anti-aircraft guns. In Belarus, we have a tank, a man, and two artillery. In Bryansk, we have one tank. Let's push him further into there. All right, and that is everything for Italy. I'm going to pass the torch on to Anza Canarantz, who definitely have some options, and we will see what they do. Got the Americans doing some nasty stuff up there, and Anza Canarantz, uh, Anzac here, are uh, in a position to do me some harm. So we'll see what they do. I'll hand it over to Hell on Wheels, and let's see his answer to today's question. Good luck, buddy.